Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what the team made this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and show you what my team of collaborators has created using the latest sheet load of cards. This month, it's the July 2021 edition. I have to tell you, and I already have, that they really, I know I say it every month, but this month hit it out of the ballpark. This was kind of a unique sketch and fold, and there was some way I think that each one of them made this sketch their own. So as I start to share those, I will point some of those things out. But as always, everybody is linked in that description box below. I know that they would love you to stop by, get more details on what they made, and leave them some love. Now, not only do I share what my team of collaborators makes each month, I also have my end of the month show us your sheet load feature where I share subscriber cards. Now, these would be cards that get sent into my P.O. box, but I also have other ways that you can show us your sheet load, either here on YouTube or over on Instagram. I will make sure to link the show us your sheet load guidelines video in that description box below so you can check it out. And if you send in a card, you might just see yours in that end of the month video. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the July 2021 sheet load of cards, I do have the debut video. Again, where do you think it's linked? In that description box, right? And I also have the process video where I made the first set. But this month I have made a few other sets. Some of them are alternatives. Some of them follow this. I will also have those videos linked. This is the one I made for the process for the original one. And then I did a little something different and doubled the sheet load from 12 to 24 cards for this one. I shared how I made this beautiful alternative using the latest Not Too Shabby kit. And for this one, instead of using twine, I used a little glitter border sticker there. And this one actually opens up from bottom to top. And finally, over here on the right, this is going to be a little sneak peek of a video that's coming next Friday for the Four on Friday collaboration with my friend Danny. I'm going to use a special tool in four different projects, and this was one of them. Let's go ahead and see what the collaborators made this month. Before we get to those cards, I do have a couple channel member shout outs. I would like to say a great big welcome and thank you to my newest paper trimmer level members, Cheyenne Hindman and the card maker. Thank you so much ladies for your support. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. And if you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. We will get today's showcase started with the blog team. And first up is Sandy of Stamp with Sandy. She has used some floral and leafy papers for her cards. And if you look really closely, instead of putting holes through the scored line, she did notches at the top and bottom. Now I shared a set where I did the same and she was one of the collaboration team members that inspired me to try that. Pam of the Airborne Life Stamping Blog created these beautiful red, white, and blue, and floral, a lady after my own heart, cards. I am loving that double sentiment on her circles, and she used some ribbon on her scored line instead of twine like I did. 
Next up is the YouTube team, and this is going to get kicked off with one of our new members, Biddy Penny. I introduced you to her and our other new team member as well later last month. I will have their hello video linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. But Toby has created cards following the sketch and then some there over on the right that were inspired by it. Both of them are on a backer and open up. Next up is Creative Chelsea and for her cards she actually did three pattern papers and she explains in her video how she cut them so she can still get 12 total cards. But she used one in the background on that three and a quarter by six and a quarter inch piece. Also those little animals were cut from pattern paper. I just love these. Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts also changed it up a little bit. Instead of having the greeting in the lower right of the pattern paper, hers fit better on a half circle that was at the top. This is a great example of make it your own and make it fit the supplies you have. Teresa of Fresh and Renewed with Teresa created this set of bright, fun, summery cards. She used different sentiments and embellishments with her paper pack to decorate each one. I just love how they each look unique. Amalia from Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia got out her corner rounder for some of her cards. I like the touch that adds, it just changes it up a little bit, and she has added some extra sparkle with some sequins. Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums also has pattern paper in the background of her cards, and she has added a little stamped, colored, and die cut bear to each of them. I think these are so very cute. And last but not least on the YouTube team is Karen Aiken. Karen needed her cards to be able to stand up for her recipients. So instead of making the piece on the front the part that opened, she made a card base that when it was folded it was the same size as that backer. Again, making it her own, making it work for her. And now for our Instagram team, which also has a brand new member, and that is Jessica from Jessie Kate Creates. She has created a set of wonderful baseball themed cards this month. I am loving how her little embellishment, which is dimensional, matches one of her pattern papers. Lisa, aka Scrapbook Girl over on Instagram, has also created cards with a pattern in the background. And she has used two different pattern paper collections for these fun cards. I like how she decorated the sentiment semicircles with some coordinating stickers and elements from that line. Stacy at Craftaholic Mama has created her set of cards using the latest Not Too Shabby box of the month. I like how she did a sentiment in a strip on most of these and she placed the ephemera where that semicircle would be. When I saw Deneen's card, I immediately wanted to go on a tropical vacation. I love those pattern papers and that adorable little flamingo accent on each of the sentiments. Liz of at Lizzie's Happy Mail also made a couple changes. Instead of the semicircle with the sentiment, she has die cut a word and then in place of that she has that adorable little boots with the flowers coming out of it. Did all of that inspire you as much as it did me? If it did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to go visit all of the collaborators links in that description box below. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.